Emily Parsons here with True Blood Star Lauren Bowles here on the Daily Quirk. Hi Daily Quirk! Can you tell us of the, the seven season will pick up right where we left off with the time jump? Uh, yes, we will begin. I, I can do, we, we do pick up where we ended last year and that's about all I can tell you literally, but uh, much mayhem ensues as you can imagine. Oh, I'm sure. From what, what, what look was about to happen does and it's chaos. Okay, I'm From right out of the gate. <laughs> um, there seems to be like a lot of action going on with the bell fleurs. Uh, is there anything you could tell us about that? Or is it all Any one of the bell fleurs in particular, or do you mean the new establishment? Oh, the new establishment. Yes, <laughs> AKA Merlots, which we all, there's the bell fleur mansion and then there's now Merlots is now called bell fleurs. So there was much confusion whenever we were filming at different places. Which bell fleurs? Bell fleurs, the restaurant. Yeah. Um, Yes, so Arlene now has bought Merlots and it's called Belle Fleurs and uh, she, uh, we ended last year with there being a party because basically it's sort of a vampire Armageddon and there's some right. disease yeah. vampires that are on route to uh, Bon Temp and you need a sort of, you need to team up with a vampire, a healthy one to help keep you uh, safe. Definitely. So um, anyway, yes, the, the vampires were on the way and I can just say, uh, it won't be boring. All right. Um, anything you can tell us on what's in store for Holly? Well, not much. That's the thing. You don't really want to know, do you? If you're a true diehard Truby, you don't want to be surprised. Everyone wants the spoilers and then don't. Um, so I can say, though, this year, what can we say about Holly this year? She's definitely um, growing her relationship with Andy. And I mean, it's survival mode like no other this year. I mean, it really is a kind of Armageddon. And, um, really the humans are having to not only band together but band together with the vampires in order to to survive so it's interesting this year unlike ones past where it's sort of as a, a group we're having to come together in a way I feel like it's been a little bit more separate in past seasons and um, so I think it'll be a good ride <laughs> all right and Andy will be seeing a lot of Andy and Holly go through a lot of Growing pains and growing together, and so that that was really fun to do this year as well. Cool. Well, do you have like a favorite moment personally um, from filming this season? Yes, but I can't tell you what it is. <laughs> that would give it away. But a, a bunch of favorites actually. Okay, I mean, this cool. year's all been bittersweet because. You know, it's the the last time so right. that we're going to get to do a lot of stuff. So we're still, fortunately, we still have about a month and a half left. So I, I'm not in that final. Oh, this is the last time I'm here. This is the last time I'm there. So, um, but but that'll be coming before I know it, and it's bittersweet. Yeah, definitely. With the final season, were the scripts kept secretive, or did you know what was going to happen? No, we really. It's that part hasn't been that much different than seasons past. We don't, sometimes you get a little um, sneak peek for the writers of what's coming down the pipeline and they certainly arc out the year, but uh, but we don't really see a script until we see it and don't know exactly what's happening. Some major plot points sometimes we'll, we'll know ahead in, in advance, but um, yeah, no, it's pretty much a surprise whenever we get it, exactly uh, how it's going down. What do you think you'll miss the most about filming? Having a job is lovely. <laughs> That's always a bonus, making money. Uh, but really, you know, we just, it's such a cliche answer, but we really just have the best casting crew. And it does become, after this amount of years, this is my fifth year on the show, the seventh for the, the rest of the cast and crew. And so, um, you know, we can't help but get so familial at that point. So, uh, you know, missing everybody is gonna be a big fat bummer. Yeah, totally. Yeah. You all, do you have anything like next on your agenda? Any events or uh, things you're looking just, to do? Yes, the big premiere is coming up in about two weeks, which we're super excited about because that's going to be at Man's Chinese. Oh, cool. Which I've been to, uh, but never for a big premiere. So that's great fun. I'll be really excited. Yeah, I'm <laughs> super excited for that. And like I said, we've got about a month and a half more in production, and then, and then we'll see what's next. Wow. OK, so one last fun question. Yes. Um, it is a topic of debate. Um, are you team Bill, team Eric, or all I'm team Suki. How's that for a feminist answer? There we go. I like it. I don't think she's defined by any of those men, and I think uh, she's a survivor, and I can't wait to see where she ends up. Yay! Oh, good answer. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Thank you so much for chatting with us Thank today. Thank you.